Hello everyone. In this video, we will explore now assist for ITSM. This is the part two of now assist series. And if you haven't watched the first video where I have explained what is now assist, what are the products offered by service now, please go and check out that video. And in that video, I have also covered how to activate skills of now assist to start using them. The link is on the top right corner and in the description as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. In this video, we will be looking at two things. Now assist for resolution notes. Now assist for change request. So these are the two skills which we will be focusing on today. And if we have some more time, we will explore some other things also. But right now we will be covering these two things. Let's go to my ServiceNow instance. So I am in my ServiceNow instance and I will type now assist and we will go ahead and activate the resolution skills and the change skills. And then we will go ahead and use this as well. Now I am on the now assist admin page and this home page is loading and we will install the skills after this. So if you see here skills not started, just click on this. And you can see here resolution notes generation for ITSM. I will click on this and it will open up a new page. And here we have the option to go ahead and activate this skill. For this, you will have to go into incident and then click on activated skills of resolution notes generation. I had clicked on activate skill and here you are presented with some steps. And here on the first page, it's asking you what do you want to take as input data and the options are short description, description, work notes and additional comments. So these would be taken in account when now assist is generating the resolution notes. So these all fields would be taken into account. And one important thing to note here is that these fields are uneditable. So you cannot edit or do much on this. So you go ahead and click on save and continue. Now here, this is the same option which we saw in the first video. Where do you want these skills to be available? Should they be always available or on some specific condition of incident? We will make it always available and then where it all should be displayed. We will keep it as on the ITSM products as well as now assist panel. I will click on save and continue. And here we are on the last page and it's asking you to confirm and activate this skill. We will click on activate and it says it has been activated. We will click on return to incident. And now we will go ahead and see one incident. So let's go ahead and type incident dot list and open a new incident. And we will try to put in some resolution notes automatically using now assist. Now we will go ahead and open any incident randomly, which is in progress because it would have some work notes in that. Let me open this one. A software licensing compliance audit revealed potential non-compliance. And we see we have ample of work notes here. I will click on resolution information and you see the resolution notes are empty as of now. I will click on resolve. And it shows me a pop up here and it says resolution notes are generating. So now assist is automatically generating these resolution notes. You don't have to do anything manually. Also, it's just kind of doing its own. And here you would see field filled by now assist and it has compiled everything and generated resolution notes for you. And it says reconcile non compliance instances and whatever the steps that were taken in the work notes. You just have to go ahead and select the resolution code. I just selected solution provided and I will click on OK. And now you would see here these resolution notes were automatically populated. Now we will go ahead and do the same thing in service operation workspace. So I will just go ahead and open that in a new tab service operations workspace. Why I'm using this because this is the place where most of the agents would be resolving their incidents. And guys, 
you would have noted that it's so easy to use now assist in part one of the video and in part two of this video as well and we are basically focusing on what is there for agents in the upcoming videos we will also focus on what is there for creators also so don't worry about that i will click on list and i will go ahead and open one random incident again here so let's go in and click on open incidents and we will again open something which is in progress so i just click randomly on this incident which is ending with 183 we will click on resolve here and you see a similar pop-up coming here and again the same message resolution notes are generating that again means now assist is generating these notes and here you would see it has generated these notes and we can again go ahead and select a resolution code from our side and whatever notes were generated we will accept them and we will click on resolve and it will automatically resolve the ticket now and as well as put in those nodes. So you see how easy it was for an agent to generate these resolution nodes. These are very, very important thing because other agents will come and look at these nodes if they see a similar incident. So it's very, very essential to be precise with these resolution nodes and now assist is helping big time in this. Now let's go back to now assist admin console and here we will again click on technology and here we would go ahead and activate the change request skills. I'll click on view details and we will follow the same steps for change request summarization. I will click on activate skill to activate this summarization skill. We get list of similar steps here and you would see here what product it is, which LLM it is using and so on. I will click on save and continue. And now it's again asking what input data do you want to choose? Again, we don't have any option. It's all read only fields, but you can see here what fields would be considered for generating that summary. So description, work notes, risk, impact, justification, test plan, backout plan, basically all the important fields. I will click on save and continue. And it's asking for customized response. That means we can go ahead and test a change. I will click on this change randomly and I will click on run test. And you would see it's saying generating prompt response for selected record. So it has generated a summary of risk plan and objective. Similarly, we can go ahead and do it for authorize and it will give us the changes which are in the authorized state. We can go ahead and select and run test and again it's generating prompt response for this selected record and it has again generated objective plan risk and so on. So we will click on save and continue. We will define the availability. We will make it always available similar to what we did in the earlier example. We will make it available on now assist panel and in product as well. We will click on save and continue. And we will activate this skill. I will click on return to change request. And now we will open some changes randomly and see how can we generate the summary. So I will click on all. And I hope you remember the backend name of the table. That's change underscore request dot list. And let's open a change which is in authorized state and is of type normal. So I've just selected it randomly. You can go ahead and use some other examples also based on your choice. And here you would see a similar message and a similar button which we saw in the incident in the first part of the video. We will click on summarize. And it has generated similarly objective plan and risk of this particular change. We can go ahead and do this in the service operation workspace as well. So we will just open that. We will go here and click on open changes in the service operation workspace. And we will open a change randomly. So let me open this one. 
update etc network interfaces to include name servers you would see a similar button here and a similar message which we saw earlier on the change i will click on summarize and now it will summarize your change request within few seconds it will take in account all those fields which we saw so you can see now the objective plan and risk here and you would see how easy it was for an agent to look at the whole change request within few seconds and they don't have to scroll in and see everything or all the work notes or all the fields it's all in front of them so i think this video would have been helpful for you if you are looking as an agent or you are a service now admin or a consultant and you want to activate these skills on your service now instance if you have any questions or any doubts please let me know in the comments and i would be happy to help you out and if you are liking my content please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching the video till the end thank you